Hello students, myself Dr. Deepak Verma. In this video, I will explain friction circle method. This method is used for stability analysis of slopes consist of homogeneous soil. In this method, we assume the factor of safety with respect to phi and then determine the factor of safety with respect to cohesion. If both the values are equal, then the analysis is OK. If these values are not equal, then repeat the procedure by taking another suitable value of Fy. So after assuming the value of Fy, determine the value of Phi m by the relation Fy equal to tangent Phi over tangent Phi m, where Phi it is the angle of shearing resistance and Fy it is the factor of safety with respect to angle of shearing resistance. So Fy it is the assumed value phi it is the given value so we can determine the value of mobilized angle of shearing resistance for stability analysis consider this figure in this figure ad it is the inclined surface db it is the top surface and ab it is the failure surface in the form of circular arc of radius r and center o the different forces acting on this wedge are first is W weight of wedge acting vertically downward, second cohesive force along the slip surface and the third is reaction R at an angle of phi m. So these are the forces weight of the wedge reaction or friction resistance R total cohesive resistance that is capital C. First for total reaction. For this divide the slip surface into elementary arcs that is delta LA and corresponding elementary reaction are delta R. As shown in this figure it is the elementary arc and these are the corresponding reaction delta R. At O if a concentric circle of radius r sin phi m is drawn, then any vector delta r at an angle of phi m with the failure surface will be tangential to the circle and this circle is called friction circle. In this figure, if we draw a circle of radius r sin phi m, then any vector that is delta r at an angle of phi m to the normal it is tangential to this circle as shown in this one. Similarly, for this, it is at an angle of phi m delta r. If we extend this, it will be tangential to this circle. Or vice versa, any line tangential to phi circle will cut the failure arc AB at an angle of phi to normal to the arc. That is, if we draw a line tangential to this phi circle, then it will be at an angle of phi m to the normal. But actually these lines are not tangential to this circle. But instead of this it is tangential to another concentric circle as shown in this figure, this dotted line. And the margin is gg dash. In this analysis, we ignore this margin gg dash and assume that the reaction R, it is tangential to this circle. So by this we can determine the direction of this reaction R. So it is a margin of gg dash and it is not concentric but it is concentric with the another circle of radius k r sin phi m where k is greater than 1. Second for cohesive resistance the mobilized cohesion on elementary arc delta L a is C m into delta L a and so the total cohesive resistance capital C is equal to C m into summation of delta L a. In terms of chord if L c is the length of chord then again total cohesive resistance that is C equal to Cm into Lc. 
which act parallel to the chord AB. By taking the moment about O, first for CM into delta LA, the perpendicular distance as shown in this figure, it is delta LA and the perpendicular distance from O, it is R. So the moment becomes CM into delta LA into R. For second equation, it is CM into LC, where LC it is the length of chord AB. Suppose the perpendicular distance is A. A is perpendicular distance of the reaction of CM into LC from O. As shown in this figure, this line it is the perpendicular distance of chord from O. So we can determine the value of A from this relation that is A equal to summation of delta LA upon LC into R. As we know the length of R is greater than length of chord so the value of A is greater than R. So by knowing the value of A we can determine the direction as well as the location of cohesive resistance. As shown in this first angle the point of intersection of weight line that is this one and cohesive line it is I. From this point the direction of C is known. It is the direction of C. For reaction R, reaction R may be drawn and extend which is tangential to phi circle. So it is the reaction R and we can extend through this. So the intersection of this cohesive line and reaction line by this we can determine the magnitude of cohesion that is C and if we know the value of C then we determine the value of mobilized cohesion Cm that is equal to C upon LC. That is from here if we know the value of C then we can determine the value of Cm. If we know the value of Cm then the forgiven value of cohesion that is small c the factor of safety is Fc equal to C upon Cm. If Fc is not equal to F5 that is this Fc is not equal to assumed value of F5 then repeat the analysis by taking another trial surface. The circle corresponding to minimum factor of safety is called most critical circle. So for that determine different values of Fc correspond to different assumed values of F5 and then draw a curve by joining different points as shown in this figure. And the minimum value gives the actual factor of safety where Fc equal to F5. But in this analysis for determining the critical circle number of trials are necessary. By taking different trial surfaces, the stability analysis are required to determine minimum factor of safety. To reduce the number of trials, it is essential to locate a line on which the center of most critical circle lies. And the Fellnitz give the method to determine a line corresponding to it.